Hello, you all. Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon, and I am your girl, Milan Garcon. Now, um, my, my life is always a freaking roller coaster being built. Like it's and and, I, and I'm on the roller coaster. Have no clue what construction is giving. Don't know what's coming next. Don't know the parts that are broken down, and don't know the parts that we are building and developing for the first time. Um, I'm just on this ride with the rest of you all. So. My apologies for not being consistent for like the past two months. I know I was doing really good for like the past year. And I don't want you all to be upset with me because my life be life and y'all. Um, it's been crazy. But I am committed to the vlog. I think I was trying to like develop all these different types of content that I could bring to the channel now that I'm not like a college vlogger and I'm not at HBCU and showing that experience anymore. I'm just like... What do I have to offer my audience that is, like, going to be real and true and very much like me right now in this very moment? Like, not not trying to do what I did before and not trying to do something that's not authentic to me and the type of content that, like, matches my personality. Like, I'm not your tutorial girl. But, you know, I think that I just want to go back to vlogging. I just want to go back to vlogging in the most unpredictable way. I want it to not be a daily vlog, not be a weekly vlog, like just a journal of my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm not really like into the overstructuredness that, that, that vlogs have become. And I think that that kind of made me shy away. Cause I'm like, I have to pick a weekly vlog or I have to pick a daily vlog. And I'm like, hold on, bitch. That was never the point of your channel. Like I was always doing what the fuck I wanted to do and everybody else was fucking with it so that's what we're gonna go back to <sighs> feels good to get that out a few other things I do have a video that is currently in the archives but it's not old I just am super afraid to post it because it's it's sharing a very raw um part of myself it's a very vulnerable video about something that happened to me a few months ago and it's very uncomfortable for me to talk about and I haven't posted it because I don't know if I'm ready to actually talk about it like once you introduce something especially to the internet and it's about yourself like it's not your business it's not your personal business anymore it is not public business and I am kind of afraid of like just the outcome so I'm about to go get some things that I need um, I went to Sephora yesterday and I got a few things I can show you all real quick um what did I actually get from Sephora? Jeez, OP. Well, I always have a lot of points from Sephora because I use my um, phone number and my account and stuff all the time. So I was able to get this Giorgio Armani eye tint and it's like a gold shimmer. I can't wait to use it. I'm going to use it this weekend. Um, a time before, not this time, I got this Dior serum. I think I'm going to have to just drop the actual money for the real serum because it's so good. I'm probably going to use it on my face today. I wash my face. I haven't put anything on my face. These are just like the natural, like my skin is really dry right now. So, um, but my favorite combo, because I have like, y'all, I probably have been collecting points from Sephora for like ever. And I just started using them like a year ago. So I always have points. And I always seem to, oh, and I shop the Sephora collection a lot too, because I like their lip glosses, their, like, their vitamin C oils are really good. So, like, you you get four times the points when you do that. So, I always have a lot of points. I'm not like the bougie bitch that's like, I'm not going to shop the store brand. But Biosense or Biosense, y'all can go ahead and sponsor me. Y'all can go ahead and sponsor me because every time I go in there, if I have at least 300 points, I'm getting this set. It's the Omega Repair Cream, which is like a moisturizer and an under eye cream. I'm going to use that with the Dior today. Right now, I'm just about to put some laundry in and I'll come back to y'all when it's time that gets run the errands because for breakfast, I just ate my leftover wing stock from last night. So yeah, all right, let's have a great day. <laughs> all right, John, so as you can see, I'm like together pretty much. I'm about to go start running these errands. But I told you I was gonna show y'all the sunscreen that I use. It is from the spa that I go to. It is like clearly no cast, like no white cast. I don't have to worry about that. And I can protect my face. I always use this under my makeup too. And it just it just does really good. I'm going to keep it in my purse with me. I knew I broke a nail. So I'm going to get that together. I really want to get my nails done today. But I think I'm going to wait till tomorrow. So, all right, y'all. Let's hit it. All right, y'all. So I'm in CVS. As you can see, I already went to the hair store. Um, 
I was keen while my boys in there, so I couldn't really give it up to y'all like that. But I decided I'm not gonna get my super, 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 super expensive face cleanser. It's summertime. I try to go really, really, really no shade, cheap, light, and not like do that much because I like to tan in the summer. So I don't really deal with hyperpigmentation because I tan and I be the, the color of the hyperpigmentation. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going back to just clean and clear for the summer it has vitamin c in it i saw this cute pink nyx liquid eyeliner i do need eyeliner i did need um some vaseline but it's like which one because they got the one they got the three different colors one is the cocoa but i'm gonna just do the cocoa because like that's what i'm used to i needed some vaseline as well for like your kneecaps your elbows um things of that nature so we're gonna dip it low and get her involved and then i'm gonna go i need some elf setting spray they don't have the one that i like so my makeup is just gonna be i'm gonna use the next one the next one i used to like too but elf the elf one is so good the Milani original one is pretty good too. I've used her, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna get the, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. I don't want the, the NYX matte one is kind of okay. That's a matte finish with electrolytes. Who the fuck I need electrolytes mixed in with my makeup for? Should I get the Milani or the next one? I don't know. I'm getting the Milani one because Milani is the Milani is what I feel like I'm using. Okay, I got everything I need to do all. We are gonna go and get up out of here. I don't wanna spend any more money. Hey y'all, so I'm back. I'm home. I'm in the backyard. Uh-oh. I'm in the backyard. I got some McDonald's. I put a little um white henny in here so you know she's relaxing today today was very much a mental health day um mo shot so you know Mwah, it's over moaning and let me just show y'all what i got y'all saw what i got from cbs i'll show y'all what i got from um the hair store i guess after this when i go back in the house so if you want to see what i got from the hair store like don't trip i'm still gonna show you but i got some for I got some fries. It's kind of cold now. And then I like the spicy chicken sandwich. Oh, I forgot to get cheese. Hold on. I got to get some cheese. All right. So I got my sandwich. I got my cheese. I got everything that I need. Let me get my sweet and sour sauce. McDonald's, count your motherfucking days. That shredded lettuce shit, y'all got to stop. Give me a regular piece of lettuce because the shredded lettuce never makes it home or makes it to me in the sandwich. It's always just in the box. Like, how y'all do that? But whatever, I'm not gonna, see? Shredded up, uh, shredded lettuce. Uh, like, how did it even get there? But um, yeah, y'all. I'm just about to sit in here and relax. And it's hot as hell outside, but it's even hotter inside. So pick your poison, no shade. I'd rather be out here in the bruise with the sunlight so I can enjoy and embrace the heat versus having the heat just embrace me. Baby, it is definitely hot. But I'm gonna, um, very quickly, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this one at all, but I'm in the process of just like dropping all the niggas that I talk to. Like none of them should even have my number. Like none of them. I really be forgetting who I am. I'm somebody that like never really knew their self-worth when it came to dating and stuff like that. Even in my career, like I just don't give myself the proper credit. I'm a bad bitch. Like you can't book me without a budget. You know what I'm saying? So like, why would I not go about dating or dealing with people? Even if we just messing around every once in a while. Like what, like whatever it is, I should never be 
settling for anything other than a nigga being obsessed with me. No, because the way that I get attached, and of course, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be figuring this out in therapy too, because I know that it's got something to do with attachment issues. But, oh yeah, it just hit me. I hate when I unpack shit on camera, because I be like, damn. Do I tell y'all? But I think growing up with like divorced parents and having a split parent home and being with my dad on the weekends and my mom most of the time. But I spent every other weekend with my dad. So that's two weekends out the month. Rest of the time I was with my mom. But I love the time that I spent with my dad. You know what I'm saying? So, but he was also very busy too. He'd be bowling, so I'd be with my grandmothers a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong, we definitely spent a lot of time together when we were growing up. Going to movies, taking trips, and all of that. He was very, very much in my life. But also, like, just not having that consistent, you know, father figure there. I think it kind of allows me to get attached to men too quickly. And then have this need for them to, like, be around all the time. So we're stopping that. Wow, I just ate that for myself. Mm. And um, basically, just taking the time to love myself so much that nobody could love me more than I love myself. And at that point, we can start talking to niggas again. Because I know that I will not be accepting. Like, you have to really come in between me and my peace for me to even say more than hi and goodbye. No shade. And not in a rude way, just like... Men love to be like, oh, this and all that. But they don't realize how all of them say the exact same thing. It's so crazy. And women say the exact same thing, too. But it's because we're dealing with the exact same thing. Don't get me wrong. We're in a new day and age of courting and dating and all of that. But men still predominantly come up to girls. And it's like, when y'all approach all of these girls with this textbook riz or this textbook game or... You know, one thing that I've realized, like, guys in my life, they really, really, really love to, like, be a certain way for a long period of time. And sometimes it's, it's longer than others or shorter than others. And then they just go to being regular niggas. And I know all girls can relate to that. So if all girls can relate to men doing the most to get your attention, to get your number, to get, you know, in your space and to become a part of your life in a sense of, like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I know... I know shorty crazy over me, da 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 da, always running around in my brain and shit. Then like, why not keep the energy up? But like, why do y'all always switch once y'all, once y'all feel like y'all have accomplished that? That's so annoying. It's so trashy. It's not tea at all. And I'm over it. So, and he went to being a regular ass nigga like everybody else. So now I'm dealing with this dude, bomb ass D, then already locked himself in my brain. That, then been around for me to feel like, okay, maybe, you know, we can attach a few emotions to this. And then boom, same, same deal. So I'm just dealing with some stuff, family stuff. Yeah, I'm just getting myself together. Oh, all right, we'll go here. So we're not doing that anymore. So I've just been taking this time to just enjoy my own space and my own peace. Look at this. How did I get a, oh, that's from a band-aid. I'm like, how did I get adhesive on me? But, all right, y'all. I will talk to y'all when I decide if I'm going to wash my hair or not, and then I'll share what I got from the hair store. Okay. All of my clothes are washed, clean, not folded, put away, but they're washed and dry. Period. That's the best that we can do. Okay, I was going to share what I got from the hair store real quick, so let me show y'all first. I got some, because I wanted to try a new shampoo and stuff, because since I got a relaxer, and my relaxer is definitely the olive oil brand, so I'm like a relaxer and a touch-up in. I feel like I heard that Cantu and Cream of Nature make girls' hair fall out, but I never experienced that. At least I never noticed it until I got a relaxer, and then I feel like the last time I washed my hair is either that sh those shampoos are really just not good for hair unless you got like 4c hair and, and 4c hair i'll tell you before my relaxer i could honestly do anything to my hair it was not coming out of my head it was not changing texture it no but um i know i haven't been doing like dedicated moan shot mondays but i have been keeping up with my shots 
I have not been not doing it, so don't fear that your girl is still the beatest thing, in the words of my sister Julie. Um, but I have just had a difficult time making Moonshot Mondays because that is really like a, a like a visual diary for me. And the shit that I've been going through, I have not been wanting to talk about. And because I'm such a real ass bitch at the end of the day, it's very difficult for me to come online and not be honest. And when I'm going through shit that I, I'm not like necessarily ready to talk about, it fucks with my like content creation because I be feeling like I can't lie to y'all, but I ain't talk about what I'm really going through because it's kind of too deep right now. But I kind of think I'm getting to the place where I'm almost ready to tell my story and all of that shit. But I'm not there yet. Yay, we're done. Moonshot is done. Imagine having to really like stick yourself every week. Like with a full size needle and syringe. There's not like no little Ozempic shop where it's like pre-made to be easy. And then I'll always wipe it down alcohol before and after. And my wing stop should be outside by now. So like. It's here. Okay. I'm gonna go, oh, I have some water over there, but I'm gonna get another bottle of water because I only have, and I'm about to take this tea blocker. So I'm gonna drink all of it with that, and I'm gonna eat this food, and I'm gonna go to sleep. Give me a second. All right, y'all, so right now I'm about to eat this food. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm gonna get like four hours of sleep, go to work. That's like regular, four or five hours is okay. Oh my God, guys. Yeah. The ranch from Wingstop is like different. It's different, different. And I just get regular fries, like the regular fries with the um salt. Sometimes I get the seasoned fries, but sometimes they be too salty. I've had my taste buds chain. Once I got on HRT, like a lot of things that tasted good stopped tasting good to me. Things that I stopped eating a long time ago because I either just grew out of it, like boiled eggs. Like I used to eat them all the time when I was younger. Then it got to the, as I got older, if it wasn't like a deviled egg, I couldn't even stand the smell of boiled eggs. Like, ooh. But now, I'm boiling like six boiled eggs at a time and like eating at least like all of them. Mm -hmm. My love for pickles got stronger. Like, I would eat a pickle. No, actually, I take that back. I'm lying. I never ate pickles. I never ate pickles on sandwiches or nothing now. I used to be like, no pickles or pickles on the side, give them to somebody. Now, pickle me down. I just finished a jar of pickles the other day. It's so funny. How, like, hormones really give you cravings and shit. That's another reason why, like, when cis people really just, like, don't understand what it is to, like, be in transition, like, to actually, like, go through a transition, it's like, you are, a lot of things are changing and you're developing things that you never even had. So it was like, it's not about the surgeries. It's not It's not all about the surgeries. It's not all about the dating life and, and how that changes from like whatever you were before and whatever you dated before to what you are now and who you date now. Like, that's not the only things. Like, a lot of like people just think, oh, y'all just want to be girls. So y'all just going to go get surgery. Y'all going to go get a SRS. So you could have a cootie cat and da 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 da. It's like, that's honestly the last thing on most trans girls' mind. Especially when they're, like, in transition. Like, when you are going through the process of your body changing and going through the process of having this surgery done. And, like, the last thing in your mind is I'm doing this to be a cis woman. Like, I'm always going to be a trainee. I think it's just easier to, to, to digest it if you simplify this. They want to be me. Like, trans girls want to be girls. Like, yes. That's how we've always identified and, and felt on the inside, which has given us this gender dysphoria, not feeling like, oh my God, like, the body that I have is not the brain that I have. Okay, great. But this idea that just most or all trans people just feel like, uh, yes, I'm going to get to a certain point and... I'm going to be passable and I'm going to be 
a biological woman or or I'm going to literally be just like a biological woman. Like, no, nobody thinks that and nobody wants to be that. I love being trans. All of the girls that I know and I'm in ballroom, so I know hundreds and hundreds of femme queens. Hundreds. And no of thousands. And none of us have that frame of mind. You do have a very, very, very small group of girls that want to battle biological women. But that has nothing to do with them being trans. That has everything to do with them just not being secure in who they are. I'm here to tell you, don't nobody want to be you. I don't want to push no baby out of me. I don't want no period. I don't want none of that shit. I just want to be a tranny, mind of my, mind of my business. No shade. I'm going to be my black trans self. That's it. I want when the niggas come, I want them to munch down. Throw at capacity. Okay? And most girls do. No shade. I'm spilling real tea right now. Y'all niggas don't be coming because... They done got tricked and didn't. No, 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 no. They came and said, how big is it? Are you a top or are you a bottom? That's what they be saying in the DMs. I'm here to tell you. So sorry to burst your fucking bubble. He wants a piece of the piece. Most men stop messing with trans girls once they get their SRS, which is a sexual reassignment surgery. So I, don't, I just really be laughing when these conversations, like when I see them happen online. I just be like, Little do y'all know. I think more girls would get SRSs if they felt like they, men or man, would be happy. But the man likes the transness of the situation. Wink, wink. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all just gag at the fact that all men are not heterosexual. Most human beings are attracted to more than one gender in different types of things. Just. The fact that y'all want everybody to be the same and think the same is mind-boggling to me. Everybody be like, some girls is fighters, some girls is not. Some niggas is fighters, some niggas is not. Some niggas get their ass beat every time. Some niggas run from fights. Some niggas run to fights. Some niggas start fights. Some people win fights. Everybody's different. But when it comes to sexuality, everybody's the same. It's either got to be, you like girls or you like boys. Or, you're a guy. How... This one thing that is actually so expansive. Sex is so expansive. There are so many different types of sex that you can even have. But we're going to dumb down what people are attracted to. Y'all just doing it for your egos. Because you can't imagine your man being attracted to anything else other than pussy. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to break it to you, baby. Because every, every bad bitch, every pretty girl knows that that nigga that is so fine and just thought like, oh my God, like... Secretly, like, yeah, I bag him, but bang, damn, he found you find out the other bitches that he fuck with, you be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Damn, this type of bitches do. How, then, th then, why do you like me? Because I don't look nothing like her. She don't got nothing together like me. Yeah, niggas don't care about that. But it's easier for that ego through the same trans women trick me in. It's not possible when he got to bend over and, and breathe and relax. It's not possible. How am I tricking him? And I'm not saying all men that deal with trans women like bottoming. I'm not saying that at all. Because most of the ones that I deal with, they they don't. Because I'm, I'm doing the bending. To just think that, like, they really don't know when in sex most of the time, like, you don't have on clothes. It's insane. Men have been dealing with women since they wanted to deal with women, since they was young, since they was in school. You think he touched her all on the body and all in that bitch mug and hasn't gotten one inkling or any that she might be a little different from the rest of the girls he just seen in his whole life? How many times you don't lie about something because you was embarrassed? When you was young, your mama asked you, did you do this, did you do that? No, I didn't, knowing that you did it. Well, I didn't know, knowing that you knew. Oh my God. Men be liars every day of the week until until he get caught messing with a trans girl. And y'all believe everything he said. Y'all think we delusional.
He was all types of liars last week when he was talking to your cousin and your good, good girlfriend. But now he say he didn't know that the girl was trans. Mind you, all girls love to do is say, I'm just ranting right now, but all girls love to do is say, bitch, I knew you was trans or we knew. Everybody knew. Everybody knows. So it's either everybody knows or everybody don't know. And he got tricked. Which one is it? Because is he blind now? Is he all of a sudden blind? Everybody, everybody else in the room is telling me that they knew. Oh, yeah, girl, we knew. It was that chin. It was that voice. It was your Adams. It was all of this. We knew, we knew, we knew. Okay, well, why did you believe your baby daddy when he said that he didn't know he was messing with a trans girl? Quickly. Why, Clarissa? Why? Why should we believe him now? Quickly. Why should we believe... That he didn't see that the girl was trans. And don't say because niggas is dumb. No. Niggas have been dealing with bitches since day one. So how did this trans girl just slip through the cracks? Even though everybody else knew that she was trans. Or is he just embarrassed and don't want to admit that he's attracted to trans women? I don't know. I'll let you all decide. I don't have a choice. I'm black and I'm trans. Y'all, I'm gagging. I just did like a full on like 25 minute rant, like eating all my food all the way to the end, but I did not have enough storage. So wherever I was in my rant, I hope I ended it when it made sense. But basically the moral of the story is trans girls just want to be trans girls and we just want to mind our business in peace. Never going to be a perfect world, but I'm just glad that we vlogged the entire day. I showed y'all what I ate. I showed y'all where I went. Like, like we really had a great day. Stay safe and stay dangerous. Mwah.